Hi guys, people call Liz Truss the human hand grenade, but I think her friend Nadine Doris deserves that name instead. We all know that Nadine is a Johnson sycophant, and it's likely she is one of those who has been campaigning for him to be reinstated. It seems that the Prime Minister and his fan base are not too happy with Rishi Sunak at the moment. Here she was speaking to Kay Burley of Sky News, where she casually dropped the claim that Boris Johnson was removed from power via coup. Really? Have a listen to this. Beginning, I'm asking you whether, to what extent do you blame uh, Rishi Sunak for Boris Johnson's demise? So it is. It is not a secret that um, that we that things that things happen that shouldn't have happened, and that. Um, Boris Johnson was removed via a coup, but I don't know if you can hear behind me, but I'm in Birmingham and today is the first day of the Commonwealth Games. It's almost like a parody. So let's just focus on the Birmingham bit first. Um, yes, Sky News know that you're in Birmingham. There's a, a big sticker on the top of the screen saying live from Birmingham. And OK, and, you know, OK, OK, let's just not focus too much on that. Anyway, the the claim that Boris Johnson was removed via coup. Now, v Boris Johnson faced two votes of confidence. One was in um, the 1922, uh, hosted by the 1922 committee. That was an internal vote, which he won. Um, he won that confidence vote, not by a significant margin, but he won it. And there was the confidence vote in Parliament, which he won as well. Now, the one within his party is more significant because it was a real feel of how uh, members of the Conservative Party feel about Boris Johnson. It was a real test of Boris Johnson's support. The one in Parliament, look, many members will not, or I don't think any members voted against the, against the government. This, the one in Parliament is more about support for the government and a Tory leader, a Tory prime minister, and no one really voted against that. But the one within his party is more significant, and it showed that there is a real appetite for change. Boris Johnson used to be flavour of the month, but now he's no longer the case. It's no longer the case. So Liz Truss, uh, of course, wants to be the continuity candidate, and Rishi Sunak decided, look, I'm pulling the plug on this. I, I want to be Prime Minister someday, and the longer I stay attached to Boris Johnson, the, the more it's going to damage me. And he and um, Sajid Javid were the ones who pulled the plug. They were the first two to resign. Would you call it a coup? Well, not really, because they decided, um, I'm going to go. And unless it was organised within the cabinet, uh, and within the party, yes, we need to uh, get re get Johnson out. I'm going to resign, and this is going to trigger a mass resignation. Um, yes, you could you could somewhat say that's a coup, but normally with a coup, the, the the leader is removed straight away. Boris Johnson is still in number ten. Boris Johnson is still spending the last number of weeks having fun, flying planes, throwing hand grenades. So I wouldn't really call it a coup. He will, he, and he's still there, and, and I'm still doubtful. I, I think he's going to eventually leave, but there's still a doubt in my mind that he will actually leave because there's growing support, while still small, but there's still growing support for him to remain or to be reinstated in some way. It's also possible that Johnson would like um, to be replaced in order to eventually come back in the future. I hope that's not the case. The The country needs real leadership at the moment. There's a cost of living crisis that's being ignored by Rishi Sunak, Liz Truss and Boris Johnson. And there is news of um, bills rising to £500 a month in January. How are people supposed to deal with that cost of living crisis? Th this is just energy bills. We're also talking about inflation hitting 11 percent how are people supposed to survive that how are people supposed to feed their families heat their homes pay the rent pay their mortgages and all the talk is a coup or uh, immigration or cutting taxes there's no real leadership at the moment 
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.